transportation is a regional transportation system. Now, everybody in here and everybody who's opposed to this says, so what? What do we care what the mayors think? Well, I've been over the last year meeting with and talking to 250 of the top mayors in this country. And every one of them wants to have the opportunity that, the opportunity that we have today. Because every one of them is fighting for regional transportation because they see what we see, which is you cannot build a foundation back with 17 percent unemployment if you don't have the, fo the foundation of regional transportation to move people. Now there's a business side of this too. If you take all those people off the highways, your trucks move faster and saves business and money. Well, I'm a ways away from the highway. I'm about a 15 minute ride from the highway. So the roads aren't helping me. Expanding 94 is not necessarily helping me because I need to move people along the coast. So the way to do that is by providing regional transportation. So when I look at building the city, if I don't have that component, how do I build the house? How do we create the great city that we need if we don't have the one component that every other mayor in this country is not only demanding but fighting for every single day of their life? Now let me give you an example. This is important. When we were at the uh, out in Washington, D.C. meeting with the administration, one mayor walked up to the podium and said, I just want to say thank you. We brought in regional transportation 10 years ago, and since then we've had one billion, with the B, dollars in development over the last 10 years, so I just want to say thanks. We walked away. If there is not a greater example of what we need and what we can get out of creating a regional transportation system, which includes commuter rail, high speed rail, and expanded bus. That's the greatest example. How are we to compete in the global market, if not the regional market, if we don't have the same opportunities that every other region in this country is demanding? So, for us as mayors, the CEOs of your cities, how do we build the town? How do we build the city? How do we build our house? This is a component. And if we don't have it, it's pretty tough build a good foundation for the people that need the jobs. I'm going to leave on one note that I thought was very interesting that I heard today. The Cyrus hearing just announced 500 new jobs just 20 minutes north of us. And somebody I said, how do our people get up to that job? It started out at $18 an hour. Isn't that incredible? They said, we'll just tell them to buy a car. I said, try to do that when you're employed. See how far you're going to get to buy that car when you're unemployed and you have no money. And I can't provide a bus up to them. There's no service that goes up to the series. So my 17% unemployed who have a job 20 minutes away are going to have to bike or walk. That's not acceptable for my people. So I'm being a little parochial. So we need this. We need the help, and we need to get moving on it.